It's Sunday, June 21st, 2020. Uh, last weekend, it didn't get above 50 degrees, so I had a fire going inside. Uh, this weekend, it's about 85, 90 degrees. Um, sun's out, ticks are out. About a thousand uh, different species of flying insects that want to bite me are out. Um, and that's, uh, you know, that's Vermont summers. Well, I guess it's today the first day. Of, I don't know if it's summer yet. Um, but the forest leafed out. Uh, that happened three or four weeks ago. Um, so everything's green and, and beautiful. What else? Haven't gotten a whole lot of work done on the cabin since my last video because work, work is um, work has been very demanding. You know, my day job. And uh, yeah, the last five weeks been extremely busy with work, uh, very, putting in very long hours, including in the weekends. This is the first weekend I had off in a while. And because of um, all the hours I've had to work, I've been down in, at my house in Connecticut a lot because just the amount of uh, electricity and internet reliability that I've needed just made more sense to be in Connecticut. But let's see. So before the, the forest leafed out, I was able to drop a few trees because uh, it's always easier to do that or deal with prepping firewood before there's leaves on the trees. Um, it's easier to cut them up. My chainsaw, I did not get it fixed yet. Let's see. Let's redo that. So I did not get my Husqvarna chainsaw working yet. I went to replace the fuel filter and the fuel line just snapped right off. So um, I ended up buying a new chainsaw, not so much as a replacement, but uh, for a while I've been wanting to buy a more powerful chainsaw. So it was kind of on my list anyway. Mainly wanted a more powerful one so that I could use it to, uh, to cut slabs to use with my portable sawmill and um, needed something beefier than what I had. The Husqvarna chainsaw is uh, 42 cc's and I bought a Makita uh, 73 cc chainsaw which makes the Husqvarna feel like a toy. Granted either one can cut off your leg. Uh, so I'll show those to you. All right. So the new Makita, you can see, of course, the size difference. So that new chainsaw, I mean, it goes right through the wood, way easier than, than the, the smaller chainsaw. But, you know, it's, it's a trade-off because the thing is freaking heavy. I, uh, I can't really, can't use it all day long without getting fatigued. And you don't want to be fatigued using a chainsaw because that's dangerous. Now with the Husqvarna, I replaced the fuel line, I replaced the fuel filter only to find I had lost the button for the throttle. So I need I need to replace that before I can even test and see if the thing is fixed. Hopefully it works soon. Cause I, I want to use that smaller one to do, you know, to take the limbs off the trees and, and do the smaller work because because it's lighter, because I can use it for longer so you know not really much need to use a 73 cc chainsaw on uh, on small limbs so i dropped several trees i believe seven of them over past the outhouse in the area that i've been opening up over the years because i i need to cut wood for firewood for heat but I'm also, you know, I want to clear certain areas of the land anyway. And it looks a lot different than it did a few weeks ago over here. The sun would not be coming through like that last year. So this, 
this is really opening up. Now some of the trunks, parts of them, I'm probably going to save to make slabs out of to, to make the siding for my for my cabin. lot of work ahead of me. This all needs to be cut up, uh, transported closer to my cabin, split, stacked. It will probably be enough to get me through the winter, but I still think I'm gonna drop a couple more trees before then. And eventually, someday, I'll get an excavator up here and try to flatten out this area. Um, it could be a place to hang out, probably also build a shed someday. Who knows, I could be watching this video five years from now without much changing, because there's just a lot of work that keeps me busy up here. <clears throat> 